Wasn't paying attention. Right. Let's see if we can do that better. It seems that whenever I'm playing with the marksman or the, those uh, scout towers, I always have a bad time. This time I'm not getting any houses. the best background for this but it is uh, different than what <laughs> we normally uh, have in this game so that's a bonus for me at this point ah come on a little fire I guess oh and there's the first split already thing because it means that that's a one ball that didn't hit anything and just flew off. A wasted shot essentially. but we're holding in there. Flamey bolts, broadhead bolts plus two, let's get that. We have a row of houses here, but there's a bunch of people there. That does not bring me joy. That's two spawns that are being unchallenged. this one next. Hopefully I can get them to run parallel for a while. Excellent. Uh, uh well, almost. That's another extra spawn. I have to put something here. It's really good progress. Enchanted bolts, broadhead bolts three. Uh, 
all going downwards, so I might think that I'm gonna go extend this ones now. But I'm gonna put down the ballistas here. People take care of some of these guys, but more importantly I'm getting money from those. There we go, the first crit, because we got the health maxed out. I would like this to be the boss lane, considering all these houses. decisions. Acceptable enough. that so many of them are getting through. I need to get those spawns further away from me. One, there's a split and there is the boss.
this is gonna be tight, but we should be fine. Hello there, Vic, nice to see you. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Right. None of these are useful. Well, Fire and Flames is. Oh, Ignite. You're gonna force me to take another tower. That's not cool. Right. Extend this one. Oof, oof, oof. Not happy with any of that. Damage. 
Wonderful, I have two ignites and no poison damage. I need poison damage game. start healing and regenerating yet, but that's gonna be happening sooner than later. Yeah, because I have three of them open now, I'm getting a bunch of stuff I don't need. And very little of stuff that I do need. These are all going in different directions. Oh, that might be good. regard nothing. bolts just start growing that oh that's very nice Vic you enjoying that game
combos. All range for the ballistas, yes, please. Let's put you on a plus three spot. Swan plus two, we're gonna be shields. They're gonna be shields as well. None of this is useful. I'm gonna take haunted houses. Let's see if there's any good positions we can place them at. This is a very good position. Oh, but that also means oh. Well, if I run out of mana, it's not going to be a problem because none of my weapons actually use mana at the moment. But I probably will want to consider mana siphons after this. We'll see if they drop point. Yeah, we'll have to invest into mana siphons. Okay, extend it one more time. This is useful. Well, forward observers is the only choice that's gonna be of any use to me, so go for that. There's the boss boy. Only now. Chemicals. Heavy shafts. Three. Poison bolts. Thank you. Advanced ballistics. Definitely time for the volume quantity. This is gonna end up in a portal. Well, block. This one route I can forget about. Okay. 
we're good on that aspect. Banditry 2. Yeah, I need to get that. Let's extract and this particular route. I think I'm gonna be going for universities. It's too late in the run for them now. Well, it's not, that's actually not true because they've now started appearing, but... Uh, I don't know, I never found universities to be all that useful. You have to save way too much money for them for... for them to actually be properly useful to, reliably. is done. This is gonna be our boss lane, so let's extend that further. Stealth. Let's get you on shield. Over here, also strip the shield off so that by the time they get here, we can get their armor blown off. Properly powerful. This is starting with you guys. Properly up there. Go. Send. Send.
perfect longbow three. It's the maximum range for the ballistas now. the last piece of upgrades I need. taking mana bolts, especially now that I don't have a way of actually generating mana. Oh, I need to make sure. This, this one's the longest. This, is, this should be the longest, but this one is probably the second longest. So I'm going to extend this one so the boss goes through there. flames again so we want him to go through there yeah I was right there's a plus three spots so let's just get a few extra spots that are just up there why not I'm gonna leave them on uh, progress I'm just gonna put them up They don't really count as much, but you know, they slow down enemies if nothing else. Spreading them up as they come. It's useful enough. Don't need that last batch of crits. 
I should be able to get that because I did get uh, the, the third level of sh uh, anti-shield damage. So that should be the next thing. Robo Ugi does not scare me, he is pretty much alone already. And he needs to go through that entire firewall to even get to me. But he is the only one left. No, not even in your wildest dreams, no. None of this is useful though. Give me something good. Or don't. Piece of poison damage, that's at least good to a degree. Okay, so now we're gonna get the enemies that have a lot of shield, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what happens after that boss. one would get me more hmm yeah I think we're gonna just go for vile consumption that's extra damage Let's just in this one are coming. They are probably gonna go past the kill box, I think. Okay, there's the first one. Oh! Well, maybe those towers do do something. It's really problematic to gauge the effectiveness of the, of the lookout towers. Because their, their effects are so quiet, and when there are so many enemies, it's difficult to see the damage done or not done. I guess when the enemy just disappears, that should be enough of a tell that the enemy has been dealt with properly, but you know, when things go with a bigger boom, we usually prefer those. Right. Slow cooker. <laughs> A split on level 38. Are you kidding me, game? We don't 
get that uh, last bitch of Chris. Which can happen. In fact, it did happen multiple times that I didn't manage to get my last crit card. Oh, we get the beholders now as well. Yeah, the enemies will be likely. Yeah, that's now getting past this point. But we will need to start moving forward over here. And getting this part ready. Yeah. Yeah. There goes. Sheesh. Oof. Expunge. Nice. But that was bad. We're not gonna survive one or one more like that. I'm gonna do what I can now, but I think that uh, this build just won't won't be sufficient. Oh, this just won't do. This just won't uh, do. I think one of the problems is that I had so many splits. There's too many spawn points. places to cover. Too many places to cover. And this is why they're called challenge runs. Because they're a challenge. And it's even worse when you have to deal with a challenge with a tower that doesn't deal any damage on its own. So normally when you have a challenge run and you're dealing with one of the challenge, uh, the towers help 